deadly hit and run outside a Southside bar. Three men killed last weekend after being hit by a driver of a silver sedan. And tonight, a balloon release and vigil to honor one of the victims, a young man with a promising future. And WGN's Dana Revick is live in the Grand Crossing neighborhood with more for us. Dana. Well, Jalen Osley's mother tells me that her son his entire life wanted to go into medicine. He got a full ride scholarship to the University of Michigan, but after graduating, he got a job at his alma mater and found his true calling working as a youth mentor. Jalen didn't deserve what happened. My son has always been a positive influence on everybody. He's been a positive light. Nichelle Weather speaking for the first time since the loss of her son, 23 year old Jalen Osley last Sunday. He was one of three men killed in a hit and run outside Jeffrey Pub in South Shore. Still in disbelief, you know, after just seeing him, you know, 24 hours before and then to, to hear about something like this on the news. It just it hurts. It really hurts. It hurts our community. Osley, a 2021 graduate from the University of Michigan, was a student at Gary Comer College Prep and came back to work as a culture specialist at the school's youth center. He said when he came to work with these students that he was going to introduce them to everything that they needed to know and he was going to introduce them to all the opportunities that were available. I just started crying, just crying. I was heartbroken. You know, he just he's like a big brother to me. Students and staff at Gary Comer say he was a huge asset here, motivating these children to be their best. We had made a uh, deal for me to at least exceed a 3.8 to a 4.0. Also, he spoke highly of me on football team. So during football, I'm going to try to make this my best season. A huge loss to the school after another tragedy last spring. 16 year old student Shondell Holiday shot and killed in Millennium Park in May. We we had finished the year losing Shondell and we had really come together and were working on healing and used the summer to really heal. And so this was a devastating blow to what was us like rearing up and getting ready to have a strong start to the school year. It just hurts. It really hurts. Chicago police found the hit and run vehicle, the silver sedan abandoned four blocks from Jeffrey's pub. Whoever you are, I wish you just turn yourself in. You know, it was a terrible act and it just get to turn yourself in. As this community continues to heal, they will be sure Jalen's legacy lives on. It's not a goodbye. It's that we're gonna continue. Because he, we have to. We have to continue to do this work. And to be honest with you, that's the only thing that that is getting me through this. Jalen's mother is encouraging people to donate to Project Love. That is Jalen's cousin's nonprofit organization that he also volunteered with. She is also starting the Jalen Osley Foundation to create student scholarships and other opportunities for children on the South Side. Live in Grand Crossing, Dana Rebic, WGN News. Thank you, Dana.